I'm Simon Chapman. I'm Professor of Public Health in the School of Public Health. Most people who quit smoking um, quit smoking on their own. Um, they don't use pharmaceuticals. They don't go along to professional help. They don't attend a group or counselling. Um, they just decide that this is something that they don't want to do any longer and they usually have a few attempts, sometimes quite a few attempts, and eventually they succeed. But the real paradox is that while about two-thirds to three-quarters of ex-smokers have quit like that, we don't know very much about that process. Um, we've studied the tail rather than the dog and so we've got an NHMRC project looking at the natural history of unassisted smoking cessation. Instead of constantly feeding the community a diet of, oh quit smoking is terribly hard, um, don't try and do it on your own. Uh, whatever you do, you know, use assistance. Um, we may be able to find some very important, very positive messages for smokers to say, well, look, most people who have quit smoking have done it on their own, and here's how they went about it. Here are some of the tricks, if you like. Here are some of the internal mental narratives that people use uh, to say to themselves, look, I'm not going to smoke any longer. Um, it's amazing that this is an area which has not been researched before.